Hey guys, what is up and I welcome you to a new episode of the Digino series. This episode featuring Blitzcrank. If you end up enjoying this episode, don't forget to throw in a like down below. But without any further ado, let us go straight into his abilities. Blitzcrank's passive's cooldown starts just as it activates rather than waiting till the effect has completely finished. A great thing about his passive is that any damage that would make him draw below 20% HP will first have to go through his passive, even if it is the same ability. As you saw in this clip, just as Vagar bursting me down, it seemed the passive did not proc, but you can see that it did go on cooldown. Finally, if the cooldown on his passive is done, and he is already below 20% HP, it will not auto-activate until he takes at least 1 damage while being below the 20% HP threshold. Rocket Grab can hit invisible units, but will not reveal someone like Twitch, however, if it hits someone like Teemo, it will reveal him. Rocket Grab is not able to pull certain abilities, for instance, Jack in the Box while it is visible. However, it still will do the damage. Somewhat on the contrary, if the ability is invisible like the Jack in the Box again, it will not take any damage from the pull and will completely go through the ability. Blitz's pull cannot be Q assessed and the pull will happen regardless. Blitzcrank can no longer pull and then use Flash to go backwards and extend the pull range. If Blitzcrank pulls someone like Lux while she's channeling her ultimate, it will not cancel it, and it will still fire at the initial location similarly to how pull will work with Ezreal's E, Arcane Shift. Blitzcrank's E, Power Fist, is an auto attack reset that can also apply on hit effects and damage turrets. Did you know that Spell Shield will be able to block Blitz's Q, the hook, the E, which is his knockup, and also his ultimate's active effect, however, the passive effect of his ultimate will not be blocked. Jax, Fiora, and Pantheon all get knocked up by Blitz's E. However, Fiora and Pantheon are able to block the damage, while Jax can do neither. Blitz's ultimate's passive cannot hit units within the fog of war. If Blitzcrank is within a brush, his ultimate's passive can still hit enemies outside of the brush. The enemy will also see the lightning effect, but it will not reveal Blitzcrank. On the contrary, his ultimate's passive cannot hit invisible units, but of course the active effect can. Alright, let us jump into some cool facts and lore about Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank was designed by Ezreal, who also made, of course, Ezreal, Ari, Annie, Kassadin, Jax, and many more. Blitzcrank is often compared to Pudge from Dota with their playstyles, primarily both champions Q, which acts like a hook pulling a target towards the champion. In the icon for Blitz's hook, it shows his left arm thrown out, yet in the game he actually uses his right arm. Within the lore, Blitzcrank runs a dating service, which is called Blitzcrank's Fleshling Compatibility Services. With that being said, he has made a few matchups. For instance, he matched up Ash with Trindamir, Katarina with Garen, and Janna with a summoner named Bob Nashahago. The lore of Blitzcrank is somewhat similar to Bicentennial Man, which is a movie about a sentient robot by Isaac Asimov. Speaking of his lore, let's go into that quickly. Blitzcrank was made by doctoral students from Zahn's College of Techmatergy, led by Victor, and his purpose was to exercise judgment on the fly in order to assist Zahn's hazardous waste reclamation process. Soon after, however, he began displaying unforeseen behavior. Blitzcrank began displaying a quick learning process and quickly became a celebrity, and credit for his creation was stolen by someone named Professor Stanwyck Pitity. With no one understanding Blitzcrank, he petitioned for a personal autonomy, and from this he left Zond and ended up joining the League. Blitzcrank's name consists of the word Blitz, which is German for lightning, and the word Crank, which is English for the turning parts of machinery. His quote, Exterminate, Exterminate, references to the Daleks in Doctor Who. His other quote, A rolling golem gathers no rust, refers to the saying, A rolling stone gathers no moss. His final quote, The magic calls to me, seems to be oddly similar to one of Vagar's quotes. The magic! It calls to me! Did you know that Rusty Blitzcrank was removed from the store at one point? Most likely because of just how bad the skin is. Piltover Blitzcrank was the first skin from Gank Industry, which also made Earthrider Corky. The license plate on the Piltover Blitzcrank skin reads, Blitzy1. Boom Boom Blitzcrank skin has the words LOL and PWN written on his gloves. Goalkeeper Blitzcrank was made for the 2010 World Cup. I Blitzcrank, even though it was made to celebrate the Mac line of League being released, can also potentially reference to the movie I Robot. Within the splash work for Riot Blitzcrank, you can see Riot Graves in the background. 
Originally, Victor was the creator of Blitzcrank, though the credit was stolen as mentioned in the lore by Professor Stanwyck. Apparently, Ramus and Blitzcrank are close friends as stated within the Journal of Justice. Oriana and Blitzcrank are also friends, probably since both are mechanical creatures. And finally, Blitzcrank and Singed are on unfriendly terms with each other. Alright guys, that does mark the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Blitzcrank. If you did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to throw in a like down below and share it with your friends. You can also write down below who you would like to see in the next episode or if there's any interesting theory you want me to discuss. I'd also appreciate it if you guys can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter fan pages. But with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you next time. Peace!